Hello everybody, my name is Claire and I'm the Youth Theatre Leader for Wiltshire Creative and today I'm going to take you through a few acting exercises that you can do in your own home. The first exercise is called Lead With Your. We're going to lead with three different body parts. The first one, your nose. So what I want you to think about is I want you to imagine there's a long string coming from your nose and someone is pulling on the end of it and you're going to walk around your room or your garden or your living room and I want you to see what character or what movement that starts to suggest. From there you're going to exaggerate that and develop it again. So you're going to make the movement bigger and then you're going to do it again and change the tempo faster or slower and then you can do it one more time and add facial expression. Each time you are layering up to create a character. Once you've done that, you're then going to do the same with your chin. Imagine there's a nice long string coming from your chin and someone is pulling on the end of it. You're going to develop that again and make it bigger, change the tempo and then add in a facial expression. And the last one you're going to do is from your shoulder. Imagine there's a nice long string coming from your shoulder and someone is pulling on the end of it and what movement does it suggest? From there, you're going to pick your favourite and you're going to create a character out of it. So if it's the nose, the chin or the shoulder and whichever one has created the best character for you and you are going to add a sound or a voice and send us in a small clip of this character that you've created or maybe a description. Next activity is an everyday walk. You need to have a little bit of space for this one but not too much. You're going to move from one side of a room to another and you're going to notice your natural movement. What is it that you do? Are your shoulders high or hunched? Are you swinging your arms? Are you moving your hips? Or maybe your gaze is high or low. You're going to take this one movement that you've noticed that you do and you're going to exaggerate it four times. The first time you're going to make it bigger. The second time you're going to change the tempo. The third time, how about you add in a facial expression? And the fourth time, think about what sound or what voice this may bring. And you are creating and developing a grotesque character. Once you've created this character, you are going to do an everyday activity. It could be brushing your hair, making your bed, laying the table for dinner, even making a cup of tea. And you are going to do it as this new character that you've created. Introduce it to your household, perform it for the people you live with. And if you fancy sending us a few clips of what you've created, please do, because we'd love to see your creations. Or, if you fancy doing this again, how about you do your natural walk, but choose a different thing that you've noticed and develop it each time. And each time you'll create something different. I really hope you have fun with some of these activities, guys. They're just fun and simple things to do in your own home. We hope to see you very, very soon. Enjoy. Bye.